Is it still going to be on the ground or is it going to be in the air? Oh, he's on the ground, look. Oh. Hello everybody, welcome to Chaz Draycott Media and welcome to another episode of Tower Simulator 3. Today I'm going to be showing you something I should have shown you quite a while ago actually, and no it's not the dog, it's actually uh, how to play this game without using any voice commands at all. In some of the demos that I've done and in obviously the update video that we did a few episodes ago, you would have seen that there is now a way of playing the game where you click on the aircraft and their tags and you give them commands from there. And it's a really good way of doing it, it pauses the game for you so you can slow it down to a pace where you can manage it, and today I'm going to walk through that with you. I am going to still be in the corner down here, but I'm really not going to be saying a lot, so I do apologise for any awkwardness that that brings onto you. I don't care. It's going to be at VRMM, one of the newest airports to come to the game in the Maldives. This was one that came out with Update 4 as a free airport, so I figured that it was very fitting to sort of use this place for a bit of a demonstration. Uh, we're going to be using runway 36 today. We're going to go for 10... No, let's go for 9am. And um, we're going to be using the Energy Design airplane set and database. So there may not be a colossal amount out of action here but still I'm going to show you how this works with just the little clicking actions that you can do here in Tower Simulator 3 and I hope this demonstration helps any of you that have come looking for it so without any further ado let's crack on. This is Freya by the way she's absolutely beautiful aren't you darling and this tank that's making its way over is Lilith come on Lil say hello to the people of YouTube look up here up here no, you don't want to know, do you? You don't care. Lil is an absolute barrel of a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, aren't you? Yes, yes, you're a pig. We love you, you're a big piggy, aren't you? Okay, away you go. Go on. Away now, I've got to do work. I know. YouTuber. Right then, here we are at the wonderful Maldives. So, we're going to sort out the stuff that I usually sort Delta. out, tag sizes Omani and things like this. Ilmani. Start. Our arrivals ready on that one. Put the airport lights on because why not? Oman Air Boeing 737 MAX 8. So let's have a look at our cameras. F7 up here on top of the tower. F8 looks down this way. Oh, what is that? Is that a jet black or whatever it's called? There's a Qatari thing over there as well. Uh, we've got F9. Uh, I'm going to raise that camera up a little bit. I'm not quite sure why I've got that facing so low down. And then does F10 do anything? No, but I'm going to bring F10 over here. I can see an Aeroflot A350. We've got some interesting stuff here, actually. I figured this airport was really quiet, and I don't want to use the word boring, but I figured this wasn't going to be a colossally busy airport. Look at that. There's a Eurowings Discover A33900. There's an A350. Personally, I think Energy is designing to fix this, because that's not what colour the windows are. They should be black like on the others. There's a Neos 787, Sri Lankan A330. I've never seen one of those. We've got an Emirates 777, a Qatar 777, an Edelweiss. Is that an A340-300? Oh my goodness it is. And an Austrian 777. I never knew you had such heavy traffic in at this airport. And then we've got the Omani 737 MAX 8. Anyway, sorry. Let's get into figuring out these commands, shall we? I'm not going to press control and do any voice commands or anything today. We're going to play it like this. We're going to go to F10. You can see the aircraft here. You double click it and it brings up this menu. Not a huge fan of where it puts the camera, but you can move the camera around afterwards. However, it takes you out of that menu. So you have pushback approved, expect runway, and then you click which of the runways you want. You can zoom in and move it. Oh, God. No, you can't. You can zoom in and drag this around, of course, if you want to just click on anything more specific. And you click runway 36 and then send. You'll see the number 36 is now next to that, which is the runway that it's been allocated, and it knows that that's where it will be going. Let's go and have a look at their pushback, actually, shall we? You can also see as well that you've got the arrows on the ground, which show you where the aircraft is going to go. That always makes life a little bit easier. So when you're not in the tower and you're not looking at the F2 screen, this one, let me just show you. When you're not looking at this screen, you can't see the yellow line or you can't see the route. It just means that, you know, you get an idea of roughly where they're going to go. And it's not too intrusive with it being that sort of translucent light blue like that. Omani are going to be ready to get taxi in in just a second when the tug leaves them. It's quite nice to be able to do it like this as well because it means you can get amongst it at the airport and go and see the aircraft for yourself and see it all happening up close and you don't have to worry about being in the tower to know who you're looking at and where you're telling them to go. In a lot of the later airports as well you can see even the stand numbers and the taxiways as well you can see on the signs usually. So that's Alpha that way and then this taxiway down here is Charlie. So Oman is ready to go. Double click on them and then you'd say runway 36 taxi via 
and then you put in the taxiways. So you'd say Bravo 8 and then Delta 7. Done. Send. And there you go. There's their route. And now they all start taxiing. Cool, isn't it? It's honestly mad. Like, when I play this game now and compare it to when I was playing Tower uh, Tower 3D Pro two or three years ago, it's just mad to see where we're at now and how good this game is in just terms of how it looks. You know, you can tell that's a 737 MAX 8 and you can tell when it's a 737-800 in comparison. The aircraft used to look like toilet tubes with wings glued on. What airline are you then? Oh, it's these Beyond. Ah, yes, it's Beyond. I've seen this before. Uh, they've got a couple of Airbus A320s and 19s. I think that's a 19. It's quite short and chunky, isn't it? We've got a lot of traffic down here. Manta Air is very pretty. That's a really nice logo. I've never seen that before. Oman is going to be ready to go by the look of it. So we'll double click them now. And then we'll say uh, runway 36, clear for takeoff. And then it says on reaching altitude. And then you can choose on this slider here 1000. And then contact departure. Bang him. And that's the equivalent of me saying, I'll let him finish. That's the equivalent of me saying, Oman Air 382, runway 36, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. It's a bit of a mouthful. So you just get basically the ease of saying that without actually saying a word. And obviously, I know it's difficult because people have problems with the voice recognition if they've got a certain accent as well. It doesn't pick it up as easily. Uh, microphone differences as well. This is a, a quite high-end uh, broadcasting headset that I use, so the microphone is very, very good on it. But not everybody has one, and you have to have XLR mixers and all sorts of stuff to make headsets like this work. So, you know, it's not as straightforward as people seem to think sometimes. So it's nice to know that through this, you can play the game still in this fashion. And even if you are in a situation where maybe, I don't know, you're at home and you don't want to wake anybody up if people are asleep, you can just click it and just do it like that. So you don't actually have to say a word. And off goes Oman Air. Off goes the 737 MAX 8. Hopefully the doors don't fall off and they'll have a lovely flight. But it's as simple as that. It really is as simple as that. I mean, I'm not sure what else I'd need to really show you, to be honest. We've not got anyone on arrival, have we? Yes, we've got an Emirates Heavy on the way in, which is really cool. So if we do that, go up to the F7 camera. They're out there, but you can't control them yet because they... Tower, six, five, eight, heavy on final three, six. So then you'd say, you'd double click on them, and then you'd say runway 36. I'm still holding down Alt to look at the aircraft, by the way. If I let go... Oh, it doesn't change anything. Runway 36, cleared to land. And then that's it. And they're going to be parking up over there. So I'll speed up time, or at least I'll skip forward to when they arrive. Okay, in the meantime, we've had another aircraft call up, which is DQA-422. Uh, sorry, 442. It's Island Aviation in their ATR-72. So we're going to go up here. They're just over there. And again, we're going to do the same. So we double-click on them. Pushback approved. Expect runway 36. Beautiful. Approved, and then they will get pushing. And I mean, look at even the startup procedure that we have here in this game now. It's just mad. That's another very lovely livery, isn't it? That is awesome. And as they get started, they're going to begin their pushback. Emirates is on its way in. Not far to go now. Are they less than five miles out? Yeah, they're very close, actually. Another interesting thing is if you have a button set to look at the aircraft rather than your usual view, you only need to click it once and then you will be focused on that aircraft. So you can change which plane you're looking at all the time. So if I click that one over there, then press my sort of view hold button, then you can have that really really good it's just made the quality of life a lot better with the game if you don't have a microphone or if you're not in a position to use a microphone you can still sit here and you get to admire the aircraft as well a bit more i find and that's one thing that you don't always get to do from in the tower so yeah i uh, i really really do like the fact that we've got sort of two very different ways of playing the game now is the triple seven three hundred of emirates big old chunky boy making its way down and they're now landing, and we'll come around to Island Aviation, double click on them, and we'll go runway 36, uh, taxi via. You don't have to do that, you could just have runway 36 and they will taxi there, but you can choose different taxiways. So I want them to go there, and then go to Delta 6. Let's see whether that works, shall we? Malay ground, Island Aviation 442, are you sure this is yeah. the most logical routing? Okay, so... Runway, oh, I wonder if we do, no, okay. So, yeah, runway 36, taxi via, 
Yeah. Bravo 4, Delta 7. So that's one thing you might need to put, if you want them uh, to join the runway at a certain point, you might have to tell them something different or you might have to type it in at that point. I'm not quite sure how that works, unfortunately, but still, that's a tiny, tiny detail that you can figure out for yourselves. <laughs> Ember is 658 Heavy. He's going to be taxiing all the way down here to the ramp. You can just see that they've got a very straightforward route, so we'll double-click on them and we'll say taxi to ramp and, yeah, that'll be it. Taxi to ramp. I'm here, six, five, eight, but you can obviously choose certain taxiways for them, but they've got it all figured out because they're going into this gate here. So they're going to be going just right, then left, and right again. Oh, no, they're going a bit further down. My apologies. They're going into this one next to the other Emirates 777. Island Aviation are now taxiing out as well, and they're going to get ready for their departure. I imagine this really does help in bigger airports as well, where you don't have to get all of the voice commands out in time. You can just click on the aircraft, and it pauses the game on the spot for you. But I really do like this place, you know. I might have to do a bit more of a, uh, a big playthrough of this one. But we'll speed up time again and we'll get Island Aviation ready to take off from here. And by that, obviously, I meant this part of the airfield because they're not going to be getting on at Delta 6, are they? So, they're ready to go pretty much now. They're holding short of Runway 36, so we will double-click on them. Runway 36. Clear for takeoff on reaching altitude. Let's put it to 3,500. Contact departure. Send. Runway 36. Clear for takeoff. On reaching altitude, 3,500. Contact departure. Nice. Island Aviation 442. And there goes the ATR. They'll line up for just a second here, and off they will go. That's me moving the camera, by the way. I'm holding down Alt and then a few keys to move it around a bit, just for effect, just to make it look pretty. Look, just hold it there. And there they go, in their lovely little ATR. You could also see for a moment there, we've got the Emirates 777 taxiing in. Look at the size of that thing. It's going to be quite a nice shot, this, if it works. Oh. I was a bit close to the runway. I was hoping to sort of show the scale of the ATR compared to the 777. But still, that's the basics of it, everybody. And like I say, it's not going to be a long video, this one, at all. It was more of a sort of tutorial just to show you how that works. And I hope that you find good use for this as well. And, you know, I know not everybody can use all the voice commands all the time so again it's just about adding another element to gameplay with this fantastic game that we now have here on Tower Simulator 3 it's really been refined and well worked out so yeah I hope you enjoy playing it and I hope that this has helped some of you and yeah hopefully I'll see you again very very soon have a good day